At the beginning of the pandemic, we started working on studying SARS-CoV-2 in wastewater. We went to the university and suggested that we try to use wastewater on campus to monitor SARS-CoV-2. When we started this project in February of 2020, there were maybe three cases in Santa Clara County and no one knew that you could detect SARS-CoV-2 RNA in wastewater. But then it quickly became evident that the concentrations in the wastewater were tracking really well with the SARS-CoV-2 infection rates. The study was led by Winnie Zambrana. It was the natural next step to implement the same kind of processes at the campus level so we could understand the level of COVID-19 cases that we had. There's a huge pump at the bottom of the sewer that collects a lot of the sewage that's coming from the residential buildings. And then we'll pump some of that sewage up where an auto sampler samples every 15 minutes. And then we can take that composite and then take a liter of it and have the operators put it in an Imhoff cone where it'll just have time for the sol really big solids to settle down. That way we can decant and then take the liquid out. Once we get the sample, we start to process it. And this is something that um, students and postdocs help with, myself included. One thing that we think about is that the wastewater provides a really nice complement to the rapid test because the rapid test you do at home, you get the information about yourself and you act accordingly. And, but that information doesn't get funneled necessarily to public health. Whereas the wastewater data is available to public health, it can inform pandemic response, it can inform hospital resourcing, it can inform um, variant emergence. It's definitely an honor to be able to contribute even a smallest amount to just monitoring of SARS-CoV-2. It's a pretty unique opportunity to be able to use the tools that we have as environmental engineers and help society in some way.